situation. Former National Security Advisor to Vice President Pence, Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg joins me now. Uh, General, um, it's it's it, it's it's the tensions, the firing, the, the I mean, all of it seems to become more intense as each day goes on. Where are we right now in your estimation? Well, if you're talking the nuclear exercise, I think you are, Charles. I think everybody ought to relax a little bit. These things happen annually. And Jennifer just said the Grom exercise, that's the Russian word for thunder. They happen all the time. And I've been involved in these exercises from the Night Watcher exercises at strategic level to the Able Archer series, which was a precursor to the steadfast noon exercise that are currently going on. Here's why that's important, That why these exercises are important. I'm glad we're doing it. glad the military is doing it. It's muscle memory. These things, you need to have an understanding of how these nuclear drills go because time is incredibly important when it comes to any type of nuclear exercise because these missiles travel within 20 minutes from launch to impact wherever they're going to be. And the muscle movements, muscle memory is important because you have to get used to the emergency action message system, the messaging that you get out to release a nuclear weapon, the command and control system behind all of that. It's always important to get used to that because here's what you don't want to have happen, Charles. In the middle of a nuclear drill, somebody goes, oops, you don't want that. And you, you stop that from having exercises like this. So I think it's a good idea. The Russians know this. I was involved in, when I was in the Pentagon, we used to watch them do their exercises. Right. They watch us do our exercises. So I, I think it's a good thing. Now, in today's environment, of course, everybody's concerned. But I think, I think the American people should be very relaxed about it and very non-concerned about it because these drills actually build confidence sure. in both the, the enemies, the, say the Russians' view of us, plus our own confidence in be, being able to launch an attack if we ever need to. General, i got to ask you, though, about these drone strikes uh, and, and a couple aspects, yeah. and I don't have a lot of time, but, yeah. uh, it, you know, the, we just heard the mayor of Kiev asking for more modern defense weapons, yeah. although it feels like small arms fire yeah. machine guns and knocking out maybe three-quarters of them. Still, the damage is horrific, and also that the idea that they're Iranian-made, uh, what role does all of this play? Yeah. This seems also to, 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 to be a dangerous combination as well. Well, it is, Charles, because the Iranians have the largest drone fleet in the world, and they've had a lot of practice doing this, for example, against Saudi Arabia. And there are, there are right now inside Russia, there are Iranian advisors showing the Russians how to use these, these systems in swarm tactics. In other words, you throw, like they did this morning in Kiev, a lot of these drones at targets. And they're really, they're not going after military targets. These are purely threats against the population centers. And what they do need, and it was said earlier, right. you need air defense systems like what we call the NASIMS, the National Advanced Surface to Air Missile System, a small system. It's a great system. I don't know why we're not providing that system well, to them. We should. And, and that's the system that would really be effective against drones. No, I, and listen, I, it's, 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 it's pretty clear. Uh, maybe it's a sign of desperation, but it's, it's having an impact for sure. General, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And speaking of Saudi Arabia, Thanks, the, the Saudi snub.